Hey everybody, it's Critter Girl. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I wanted to tell you guys a little more about my new member of the pet family, Bryce, the California King Snake. Um, I cannot see her right now. She's burrowed somewhere in there. I got her out and healed her earlier this morning, but I fed her yesterday morning, so I'm going to leave her alone. Um, and I will get her out and show her to you guys a little more in another video. But I fed her when we got her home yesterday, and I don't want to disturb her too much. Um, at least for a few more hours. You're supposed to give them about 24 hours after a feeding before you handle them, so. Um, anyway, so we got her at a reptile expo yesterday. Um, and she's super cute. She was the only female that they had, and I was... Sorry, I got chilled. It's a little cold in here. Um, I was very happy to get her. She seems very well-tempered. Um, the guy that sold her to us said that, uh, California kings are kind of bad about peeing on you when you hold them, but, uh, she didn't do that to me or my parents, so she seems to have a pretty good disposition, which is great. Um, her cage is pretty small, she's just a baby, she's about three months old, and she's probably, I don't know, maybe a, pretty close to a foot long at the moment. Um, I know she doesn't have a heat lamp. We weren't going to get her one, um, but it is pretty chilly in here, and I got to thinking, like, over the summer, it stays super hot in this room, but I got to thinking yesterday after we got home that a lot of times, sorry, it's a little cold in here, that a lot of times um, during the winter, it gets a little more chilly in here, so I think we are going to get her a heat lamp, and not only that, her cage looks, like, super dull without the heat lamp on it, so, because all the others have heat lamps. So I think we're probably going to get her a heat lamp and she will probably only be in this enclosure for about a year. Um, she's just a baby and she is already, she's three months old and she is already bigger around than Rosalie who is almost a year old. She, Rosalie is about 10, 11 months old and she's already bigger around than her and probably bigger around than Dixie who is right there. And Dixie is about a year. She's a little over a year old. So, she's definitely not as big as Bendy, though. Obviously. There's Bendy. There we go. There she is. So, she's going to be a big girl. <laughs> um, this is my first time owning a California king snake. I've never owned one before. I've held a few in my time. Um, I've held several at pet stores, and I held a beautiful adult at the zoo, a zoo in Pigeon Forge. Um, and I've been kind of wanting to get one for a while, just they're very beautiful, and I've had the privilege of interacting with a few of them, and they seem to be quite docile, pretty good snakes. So, um, I decided that I, I would like to get one. Um, I was kind of disappointed because, I don't know, if you know me, you know that my favorite snake of all time is the Green Tree Python. They had those at the expo yesterday for sale. I was so happy, and then I looked, and they were $500, <laughs> which was way yonder out of my price range, so we didn't get one of those. Don't get me wrong, I'm super happy with little Bryce. I named her Bryce, by the way, after Bryce Dallas Howard, my favorite actress, um, but I was kind of sad that those were so expensive because that's the first opportunity I've ever had to get one. Um, but we weren't able to, so. Yeah, but it's okay because I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, based on this little space that we have and how big those guys get and they're exotic, so they need probably some special care. Um... And they would need a tall cage like Rosalie's, which takes up a lot of space and are very expensive because they like to climb. So, even if they would have been cheaper, I probably am not in the position, space-wise, to hold one right now. <laughs> so, um, but someday it's gonna, someday I'm gonna do it, you guys. Someday I'm gonna get me one of those babies. But, for now, we have our sweet little Brycey girl, and she's hidden. I wish she would come out for you guys, but... She's tired. She did a lot of exploring. She had a big day yesterday. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll walk you by the other snakes. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will definitely be doing some more videos of Bryce in the future. Um, and if you haven't already seen her first feeding video, go check that out. Uh, we fed her for the first time yesterday. 
I usually don't feed them the very day I get them home simply because they're not comfortable yet. But uh, the guy that sold her to us said that she had missed her feeding this week because they were traveling. So I went ahead and fed her. She seemed super hungry. She also seemed very thirsty. And she was comfortable enough to eat in her new home. So that's a good sign. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Bye-bye.